All right, testing, testing, testing. Here I am. I'm gonna open these up, which I probably should have done before I press record. This is a hefty bottle. Oh. Oh. Mmm. Woo. Woo. Mm. Welcome back everyone. I'm Robin from This Blog's Meat and let's dive right in because I have three American rums to taste and I am quite hungry. Jerry just made me breakfast and it is waiting for me to finish tasting these rums. So I tasted Privateer a while back and Privateer claims that they are the best American rum out there. So I asked you guys what do you think is actually the best American rum out there? And I got a number of responses and I'm gonna taste three of the suggested rums or three rums from three of those suggested distilleries. Anyways, one of them is made using sugarcane juice. The other one's made using sugarcane syrup. And the last one is made using molasses and sugar. Two of them, are farm to bottle, meaning they grow their own sugar cane and yeah, ferment it, distill it and age it and bottle it. And they are all in the US. The first rum I'm gonna start with is Kohana. This is an unaged agricole style rum. So it's made from sugar cane juice. And as you might guess, because of the name of the distillery, Kohana is based in Hawaii, more specifically Oahu. And they are a farm to bottle distillery. They grow over 30 different varieties of sugarcane, and then they fresh press their sugarcane and use that juice to make their rums. This bottle in particular focuses on one of those sugarcane varieties at a time, and they bottle it completely unaged. I think it's rested in stainless steel for six months, but otherwise completely unaged, never sees oak, as you can probably tell by looking at this. The variety used to make the rum that's in this bottle is Kokea. It's their October 2022 harvest, and it is bottled at 40% ABV, so I wish it was a little bit higher, but when I opened this thing up, it had quite a lot going on on the nose. So I don't know that it needs to be higher than 40% ABV. We'll see, we'll see. The next rum I'm going to taste is from a distillery near me. This is Seven Caves Distillery. They are in San Diego and they use both molasses and sugar to produce their rums. They were founded in 2017, so they're a relatively new distillery, um, but this rum right here was aged for three years. It's bottled at 45% ABV, and what else do I have to tell you about Seven Caves. And Seven Caves doesn't only produce rums, they also produce a lot of gins, the occasional whiskey, and some experimental spirits that are mostly rum-based. And last but not least, I will be tasting a cask strength rum from Richland Rum, which has been around for a while. They were founded in 1999. They are also a farm to bottle distillery. So they grow all of their sugar cane that they use for their rums on the Richland estate. And then they boil down the fresh pressed sugar cane juice into a syrup and use that for their fermentations. They use these beautiful copper alembic stills for their distillation. And then this bottle in particular, you can look up the different casks that you have. So this is cask number 359. This one was aged for just under five years, more like four and a half years. It was filled in, what month is nine? Is that September? Yeah. It was filled in September of 2015 and then it was bottled in March of 2020. 
and they do all of their aging in new American oak barrels. Now this was bottled at cask strength, which is 51.28% ABV. And I will save that one for the last because it is the highest ABV. Before I taste these rums, I wanna say a huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for helping to support the channel. I really, really appreciate you. Now, if you, the viewer, would also like to support the channel, doing the normal YouTube things like liking, subscribing, hitting the notification bell, leaving me comments, sharing this video with your friends, watching more of my videos, all helps to really support the channel. But you can also join us over on Patreon. I've got a link in the description below. So I'm gonna start with the Kohana Kea. And this is really, really fun. So, oh my God, I'm getting so much that I'm getting like really confused because I'm getting, I'm getting like olives and tomato juice and also I'm getting like figs and raisins all at the same time. Yeah, it's this like really crazy juxtaposition like going back and forth. Like, is it savory? Is it sweet? Is it like, yeah, is it salty or is it like dried fruits? There's a lot of tropical fruits too, like mango and plantain, green plantain. But yeah, I'm also getting like a really sweet tomato sauce. Maybe like a tomato juice, more like that. With some olives, but not super overpowering. This is really fun, really complex. I, I'm really excited to taste it. There's a lot more earthiness on the palate, which is really fun that it doesn't exactly match the nose. So at 40% ABV, I wasn't getting much of like a viscosity in the mouth, which is, you know, kind of disappointing, but the flavors are really fun. It's a lot more like gravelly and minerally, if minerally is a word. And I got a lot of cinnamon bark on the finish. I'm not getting too many of those fruits on the palate. It's mostly this like, rocky, somewhat grassy flavor profile. That's really nice. So thoroughly pleased with that one. Yeah, I would love to try the other varietals that they have um, and the other expressions. Kohana also has some barrel aged spirits as well or some barrel aged rums as well. I have yet to try any of those. I'd be really interested to see how this does with some barrel aging, but I do really enjoy it as a white spirit. Okay. okay. Just making sure I didn't mix up the glasses. So let's move on to the seven caves so this is aged and it has a nice deep copper color to it nice caramely copper color to it um and actually it is darker than the richland rum that we have yet to taste i'm not sure if this has to do with like maybe the size of the barrels that were used to age this rum for three years or the fact that it was aged in san diego maybe the weather is what's giving it a lot more color than the richland rum that's a little bit older not sure um i do know that it was aged in american oak actually no i don't even know that i know that it was aged in oak so i don't even know that it was aged in american oak but other than that that's that's really all i know now, Seven Caves does emphasize that they don't add any color or any sugar to uh, to their rums at all. So this is completely different from the Agricole rum, which makes sense. This is a lot more, like, a lot more oak vanilla forward, a lot sweeter, a lot more mellow than the Kohana rum. There's like some orange oils in here, a little bit of beeswax. And as if someone were putting on like a coconut sunscreen, like really, really far away from you and you just get gentle hints of it. I think there's a bit of a caramely thing in here too. This reminds me a lot more of like a bourbon flavor profile, which is similar to what I was getting when I was tasting the privateer. So much more in line with that style. 
This one's also quite thin on the palette. It's 45% ABV. Um, a little bit dry as well, um, which I don't love. And there is a lot of barrel spice coming forward. A lot of that oakiness is present. Um, it's not like I'm chewing on a piece of wood or anything. It's quite nice and, and pretty mellow, but it is leaning a lot more into the oak flavor profile. So I'm getting spicy vanilla, as well as some cinnamon, some clove, a touch of allspice. The finish has this like little espresso thing going on with like some fresh grated nutmeg on top. It's nice. Very different from the Kohana I just had. Last but not least, the Richland Rum, which has like a dark honey color. Um, as I said, this one's at 51.28% ABV. Mm. And it's from sugarcane syrup. Now this is giving me a lot more like candy, sugary notes right off the bat. Almost like a cotton candy thing. There's a lot of raspberries in here too. Raspberries and strawberries, but they're dusted with the powdered sugar and they're on top of angel food cake. Ooh, ooh. Okay. A tiny bit of cough syrup, <laughs> but like not the bad kind, like the really, really sweet kind. Ooh, and um, Twizzlers. It's so funny how candy forward this is. Wow. Okay. Super sweet, super desserty on the nose. Ooh. A toasted piece of cinnamon raisin bread that's toasted so, so much that it's like just on the border of being burnt, but it's really, 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 really roasty. Okay, so there's more heat. There is a nice mouthfeel though. Um, <clears throat> it's got this nice creaminess to it. And then there's a lot of really, really decadent flavors. So it's less like, it's less candy, more desserty, if that makes sense, but more of like a well-balanced dessert. So there's figs, juicy, juicy figs, dried figs right off the bat. And then there's a lot of spices that start to come in. So a lot of these wintry spices, so cloves and cinnamon, allspice, and it's really nice. And there's a little bit of that roastiness. So if you were to toast the cinnamon or, you know, yeah, there's a little bit of like an orangey beeswax thing on the finish, like a little bit waxy a little bit of a macadamia nut. Wow, quite nice. <sighs> Overall thoughts is that each one of these are very, very different from one another in a good way, <laughs> uh, which makes comparing them very challenging. I thought I was gonna be able to pick a, a favorite. Um, I think for the funkiness that I've been looking for in some American rums, you can definitely find that in the Kohana. I think if you're looking to get into rums from bourbon and you're not quite ready to go full <laughs> agricole, Seven Caves would be a really great entry point because it does give me a lot of similar notes to say a bourbon and it reminded me a lot of the privateer and this bottle was i want to say 35 dollars, so i think um a bit more affordable than some of the privateer bottles that i've seen but also a great thing to pick up if you live in california and want to shop local the richland rum had a nice balance of oakiness as well as you knew it was a rum when you were tasting it. So yeah, and I love something that's cask strength. <sighs>
so yeah, those are my, those are my final thoughts. These are all delightful and all great for different occasions. For wintertime, I would pick up Richland Rum. For summertime, I would pick up the Kohana, the Kea. For bourbon fans, I would pick up the Seven Caves. And those are gonna be my concluding remarks. <laughs> if you've tried any of these rums, let me know in the comments. Or if there are different expressions from these distilleries that you think I should try, let me know.